Good day and welcome to the first ever voiceover video of Everything Windows. In this video, I'm gonna show you 5 hidden features in Windows 10 RTM version. You can enable it by yourself by following this video. Let's check it out. First one is Dark Mode. Have you ever heard of Windows 10 Dark Mode on RTM? No, not at all. Or is it? Here's how to enable it. Go to Registry Editor by pressing Win plus R and type Reg Edit. If there's any user account control, just OK with it. And go to HK Local Machine slash Software slash Microsoft slash Windows slash Current Version slash Themes slash Personalize. If there is no personalized key, just made one. After that, create a DDWood 32-bit value named Apsius Light Theme and keep the value on zero. Repeat the same method but change the local machine to current user. After you're done, take a look at an UWP app such as Settings. You might have find sort of functional but some of the appearance don't feel right, such as the title text, which still looks dark. Second, Colored Title Bar. This feature originally exists, but it is disabled until available in later builds. Here's how to enable it. Go to C slash Windows slash Resources slash Themes, copy the arrow subfolder and paste it in the same folder. If you get an UAC request, just continue and skip all .mss files. Rename the folder to Windows and all of the arrow name file slash folder inside it like the following. And if you get an UAC request, just continue. After all done, open the windows.theme file with notepad as administrator. Replace the path resource the slash theme slash arrow slash arrow dot ms styles with windows slash windows dot ms styles. Save it as it is, then double click the file and you get the blue colored title bar you can change it in settings whichever color you want. Third, Notification Area Icons Control Panel. This configuration is still available, but at this point, they are moved to the Settings app and hiding the OG one. To show it, open Command Prompt and type explorer.exe space shell space triple double dot like what it's showing on the screen. Press enter and you will be prompted to the settings like what it used to be before. Pretty cool, right? All the flyout in Windows 10. When Windows 10 is still on development, Notification Center or Action Center as we know it now is being from Windows Phone 8 feature ported to this OS and keep its shape for several builds. To bring it back, to go to Register Editor, and go to HK Local Machine slash Software slash Microsoft slash Windows slash Current Version slash Immersive Shell and change the User Action Center experience to zero. Sign out then sign in and instead of Action Center, you'll get the Notification Center which is a bit broken. Windows 10 Start Screen did you know that the start screen is still being able to trigger under Windows 10? Well, you can, but with a bit harder twist. You have to replace the shell32.dll and twinui.dll with the patch one from Metro Fetro and run the registry on the same folder, then press yes or ok. If it succeeds, you'll be presented with the Windows 10 start screen instead of the start menu. I personally didn't get it work thanks to my poor 2011 main PC 
with OBS being at 5 frames per second. But you can try it yourself and let me know in the comments down below. That's it for today, see you next time.